So I feel like a failure all the time, um, <laughs> every day. I'm only 29, a little young to feel like a failure. I do anyway, uh, so I have friends of 29 who are doing remarkable things with their lives that I'm not doing, like I have friends of 29 who are buying houses. Uh, my friend Allison called me up the other day. She's like, Jake, I'm buying a house. I was like, I didn't know we were allowed to do that. That's awesome, like that's really cool. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I have a 30 year fixed rate, no IRA penalty, and I'm getting 8K back from Obama on the stimulus package. And I was like, wow, Allison, I am thrilled for you that you know what that stuff means. Because I ate yogurt with a fork today. We're having fun, all right. I'm a white person, so I'm clinically depressed. Uh, Thank you very much, very proud of it, very proud of it. Sometimes I get depressed for vain reasons though, which I'm not so proud of. Like last winter I got depressed because I could just tell that I was gaining weight and I just really feel like right, and like right, I don't know. I knew that I was gaining weight because my belt stopped fitting around my neck the same way that it used to. Uh oh, what are we doing, huh? Uh oh, are we telling jokes? Uh oh. Is that a suicide joke or a masturbation joke? What's the difference? Uh-oh, we're dying, we're having fun. Oh man, I think everyone's crazy, everyone. Especially people who live in LA, a lot of people don't want to admit that they're crazy, but if you live in LA and you drive a car, you're out of your mind. So let's say you're driving your car, totally normal, you're totally relaxed, listening to something we can all like, like Phoenix, who doesn't love that, you know? Oh boy. And then someone cuts you off and you're like, did you just cut me off? I will slit your neck. Are you kidding me? I work in a chandelier store. Ellie is very tough for me. I will fuck your wife. I will kill your mother. I will eat your cat, okay? I love cats. I'm a vegetarian, but I will still fucking eat your cat. Don't you ever cut me off. I will hunt you down and fucking murder you. And then literally all that person in front of you has to do is roll down the window, put up their arm to say sorry, and you're like, seems like a good guy. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> you're all out of control. 